In your UBox management tool, you now have the ability to schedule box distribution movements, such as transfers. To do so, in your daily view, click on the Schedule a Transfer button under your staging area. This will populate a pop-up. What you'll do first is select the drop-down from the Transfer From section and select the entity that you're transferring the boxes from. This could be an entity that's over capacity, for example. Once you select the entity, you'll get a populated list of all their inventory available to transfer. Select the box numbers that you want to transfer and hit Add Selected Box. As you do this, it'll automatically populate on the bottom section of the U Boxes to Take section. Select the entity that you're transferring the boxes to. In this case, we'll select the warehouse where the CCR is coming from. Input any relevant notes that may be helpful to the driver. Once complete, click Schedule Transfer. This will automatically be saved to your staging area. You can always view or edit the transfer. In this case, we'll stick with what we have. To actually schedule it on a route, drag it down to the Finish Route Editing section just like you would for customer delivery. Click Finish Route Editing and you've now created the route for your CCR. Now that you've created a route for your CCR, you'll automatically see this on their routes on their UBox mobile. Again, they'll be able to view any relevant notes that you might have left when you actually scheduled the movement. They'll go through the pickup checklist, just like any customer delivery once they get to the origin point. In this case, they're showing up at 822053 to pick up two boxes. They'll go to the pickup checklist, and they'll scan each barcode to verify this is the boxes that they're loading on the truck. Once complete, they'll hit Complete Pickup. Your pickup checklist and the first part of your transfer out is now complete. Once the CCR arrives at the destination to drop off the boxes to transfer in, they'll go through the drop off checklist. In this case, they've arrived back at the warehouse to drop off the two boxes that they picked up from the other center. They'll go through the drop off checklist, and again, they'll scan each barcode to verify these are the boxes that they're dropping off. Once verified, they'll click Complete Drop-Off. Because we're doing an equipment transfer here, this will automatically take you to the contract close process to complete the transfer in. You'll go through the transfer in process for each piece of equipment, just as you would with any other piece of equipment. Click Finish, and your transfer is now complete, and your inventory is updated.